now to a series of colourful statues that have um, sprung up in London. The statues, in fact, of a bear. Well, one bear in particular. I'm talking about Paddington, where a trail has been set up. The bears, designed by celebrities including David Beckham, Emma Watson, Nicole Kidman and Benedict Cumberbatch. The aim, of course, to raise money for charity. Haxie Mayor's Belkin got herself some sticky paws to put together this report. An army of bears at Tower Bridge about to set out on an adventure across London. He's still wearing that now iconic duffel coat, but Paddington Bear, the much-loved children's book character, has undergone something of a makeover in the British capital. Ahead of the release of an animated film based on the marmalade-guzzling thrill-seeker later this month, the Paddington Trail will give tourists and locals alike a new reason to explore the city. Actor Hugh Bonneville, best known for his role in the popular British TV series Downton Abbey, is one of 50 celebrities who've been asked to design a bear for the occasion. I have designed one of the 50 bears that are going to be placed across London tomorrow, uh, starting at uh, Heathrow. They stretch all the way across the capital, uh, ending up at the O2. So if you look carefully and look with fresh eyes, you will find bears all over the place. No prizes for guessing who designed this patriotic bear. But bears created by megastars like Emma Watson and Benedict Cumberbatch are a little harder to spot. They might be easy to find now, but they'll soon be all over the city, until they're auctioned off to raise money for the NSPCC children's charity at the end of the month. They look good, don't they? Lots of Paddingtons uh, all lined up there in London. Headlines then uh, on France 24. The US heading to the polls later for midterm elections. The predictions saying those results will leave Barack Obama with a legislature working against him. Intense security in Kabbalah, Iraq, for the peak of Ashura commemorations. Hundreds of thousands of pilgrims expected to attend there. And a consensus leader being sought for Burkina Faso as the military promises it will soon hand power back to the people. A lot more, of course, on all those stories on our website. It's france24.com. Do have a look at uh, that if you get a chance during the day, france24.com. Uh, of course, including all those details uh, and more. Uh, so do have a look at that. We're going to go along to the uh, French newspapers now. Nick is here and Barack Obama, he's been uh, at the top of our bulletins and he's at the top of uh, the French newspapers as well, isn't he, Nick? Well, he leads in the French press, but not in the polls. Mm. Uh, we can go right away to the Catholic daily La Croix, which has got its front page all about him. And um, it's saying that what we've got here is, uh, yes, he's still smiling whilst he's campaigning, but uh, Obama l'usure, Obama worn out. So this year, he hasn't been able to uh, get any momentum going and uh, turn those poll, poll ratings around. Now, the question, of course, is are the Democrats in for a stinging defeat? Um, that, that idea of um, him really in trouble and on the ropes is picked up again by the Liberation, which with its front page, if we can go to that, um, sort of has a different picture of him, actually, showing him um, in a sort of pensive mood. Now, Liberation is saying that what we've got here is him as the target, la cible. Mm -hmm. um, that target um, is, of course, from the Republican side, which is hammering away at him, but also from the Democrats themselves, for whom he is now a source of dispute, isn't he? Um, so that picture there was very much the same one we saw in the uh, Le, Le Président aujourd'hui en France yeah. yesterday, Monday. Very similar, isn't it? The paper's asking, then, um, why have things gone so wrong for him? Well, Liberation has its editorial, which is entitled The Fall, mm -hmm. La Chute, um, very strikingly, I think. Now, um, there it's saying that his uh, lack of leadership is to blame, especially internationally, and also he's lost ground with his own core supporters, blacks, Hispanics, the working class, the people who brought him in a, in a wave of popularity um, six years ago. Now, they haven't seen the change that he promised, the paper said, um, in another piece, it looks at the black voters of North Carolina uh, in the small town of Rocky Mount. There you can see um, some of them. And it says that they're really, really double fighting to get him, re not him re-elected, but the Democrats um, keep them in good shape. Um, but the actual Democrat Senate candidate there, Kay um, Hagan, is really taking her distance from Obama. It's one of those races where um, the candidate is taking their distance to try and uh, he uh, head off a, a win with the Republican. In North Carolina, it's an ultra-conservateur, the paper says, mm -hmm. um, a conservative um, that could win there. So we'll be t seeing these very close races um, as, um, as the hours now unfold as the US midterms get underway.
OK, well, another story that's uh, making the front pages is about the controversial dam project in the southwest of France. Now, this dam project is called there, you can see on the front page of Le, Le, Le Figaro, the mm. Barrage de Sivance. Sivance is an area just in the Tarn region, near Toulouse in the southwest of the country. And we've seen this has been a big story in France over the last 10 days or so, uh, most notably for the death of one of the protesters against the dam, Remy Fraisse. And that has really uh, stirred up a lot of emotion about this dam project. Um, the paper there saying that Ségolène Royal, the Environment and Ecology Minister, is about to backtrack on this. In its editorial, it says if she does so, it's just another example of U-turn craziness that this socialist government is, is uh, spearheading. Um, it says there's been a series of, uh, of gaffes and problems for them, and this is just the latest, uh, that this is not about, um, you know, uh, helping farmers on the ground. It's just another error on the socialist government's part. Um, let's go to the front page of uh, Le Parisien, which is having... Um, oh, there we can see Nicolas Hulot uh, in Le Parisien actually talking about uh, this dam, saying it must uh, be scrapped, the whole project must be scrapped. But let's go to the front page of Le Parisien, which would be on France, which has got a story um, about 40-somethings um, mm -hmm. who are struggling through unemployment problems and divorce to actually um, find a place to live. And they're actually flat sharing. There's been a 43% increase in the number of 40-somethings, it says, who have uh, got into flat sharing over yeah. the last two years. Wow. Um, and that says, it says, it's really to do with the 2008 financial crisis. Uh, the cartoon in the paper is really good value uh, this Tuesday. It shows two blokes who are 40-somethings uh, <laughs> who are sharing a flat and one walks in to the flat and says, um, well, um, here we are. I just feel so...